Looks spooky. That's... Oh, yeah. So, this is Cal Cats, the Cal Catster. And, uh, yes, uh, birthday thing episode. So, we're watching, uh, just got done watching an hour long Transformers adventure called the Transformers, uh, Combiner Wars Prime Gut. Um, on the Sith Library and Archives website. Uh, it came up in the, uh, the feed. So I clicked on it and I watched it. And it's very similar to the Titans Return and Combiner Wars stuff that, that uh, has been out. It's a company. They took, he took an episode of, uh, this guy took an episode um, I'm not sure if, of, of the whole series. There was a mini-series in 2016. Uh, uh, what we did with our version, of course, was we had uh, Space Bridge and, uh, and the Robotech and Shadow Children thing. And, and put that in there and just kind of hinted at them without showing the Combiner Wars directly because we didn't want to run over <laughs> all the other stuff that was going on over there. Um, so so our, our webisodes were, were different on purpose. So, yeah, oh, yeah, and, uh, so this one, let's talk about this one instead. Uh, uh, the Combiner Wars is a 2016 Transformers online series of episodes, I think it's like eight of them or ten of them, uh, in which it follows the IDW comics and some of the other comic book ideas similar in a lot of ways to the Transformers alt mush from two de decades ago. Uh, obviously, the people doing the comic book now have were either a part of it or were fans of it. This person apparently is too. The Sith Lord, uh, Sith, uh, Sith Library and Archives. Uh, it, uh, let me see. This guy's. Um, I don't recognize the name. Uh, the guy is Dark Side Studios. To Lucas someone has. Creative Commons license. What's the guy? I think he gives his name here. Let's see. What is it? Um. Where is his bloody name? What is that? Oh, Fred Howard. No relation to the guy from Transformer. Much, I don't think. Just a guy. Fred Howard. No relation to the other Howard. Um, yeah. Uh, that would be weird. Um, no, it's not him. But it is interesting that it, it has a similar element. Um, it could be a son, I guess. It's 20 years later. Um, but maybe. Uh, but yeah, I don't have any of his other stories or anything. But this was an online uh, film, about 51 minutes long. Uh, compilation of the 10 episodes. Into, so it's into a little film. Uh, the premise of the story is that the uh, it's a thousand years after the Great Wars as depicted in Transformers, uh, the War for Cybertron, and, uh, and uh, the, the one where they get to Earth, uh, the Fall of Cybertron. It's ten years after that. So it's, it's supposed to be thousands of years later. Although, strangely enough, in that continuity, it's not really thousands of years later because we've got Rodimus and Starscream and Computron and Menasaur and, uh, and, of course, the fan film character Windblade. Controversial character. And also we have Victorian, the uh, combiner, the female Autobot combiner as well. Uh, th the only one that's all different, same color. Point that I did not buy, but probably should have because it's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> but uh, I saw her at conventions years ago and didn't get her. Uh, I have a lot of the combiners, but not all of them. Uh, yeah, oops. I have Menasaur and I have Devastator and I have a third of the aerial bots. I have Scattershot and I have all of the Combiner War uh, 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 Terracons and the, but they were a little later. They were Titans Return. Um, but I have not opened them. They're still in the box. I have the Combiner Wars Titans Return Grimlock and his Dinobot uh, former too. Though he might show up later. Um, but <laughs> But, but not in our latest thing. Anyway, let me get back to the story. Uh, the, uh, this guy's uh, story was about... Uh, I have a bunch of the other ones. I have Defensors, uh, de just the main one. And one of the other guys from that. Ironhide, I think, and uh, some of the other ones. Uh, one of the evac or whatever. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I have some of them. 
Oh, which is why in my stories they weren't uh, together. They they weren't all in it because I didn't have them. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so we have uh, his version of the Combiner Wars. Uh, they have a sort of it's a distant future, assuming that it's in the timeline chronology. It's after Earth and stuff. A thousand years later to three thousand it doesn't really say. Uh, <laughs> And uh, it can't be that far off, because some of them are in it. Uh, Prime and Megatron have given up their fight to fight each other and gone into exile. Uh, the uh, Menasaur and Computron kill each other in orbit of Cannabis. I thought it was Cannabis. Or perhaps Cannabis. No, it wasn't. It was uh, the planet. Uh, the wind, wind blade and the, the uh, female Autobots are on their planet. Cannabis. Uh, Windblade is apparently sort of an assassin. Of course she is, because she's a very soup. Uh, but <laughs> she really obviously is. But but some people were all woke and freaked out. Oh no, social justice warrior. Oh no, I can't have a character in there. Some people really don't like Windblade, but I figure, well, why not have a Windblade? You know, like they, there there are girl fans in Transformers, so why not give them a Transformer that they can, they can reach with? It's fine. You have RC, and you have you have. A bunch of other ones, or Mo Mid uh, Moon Racer, or whatever. Uh, so why not have uh, other female Transformers? Even though it really doesn't make sense for them to have gender, but because they, they wouldn't really reproduce. But let's just anyway. So Starscream has taken over a seat on the council with Rodimus, Rodimus Hot Rod, and the uh, communal leader, and they're and they have the Enigma of Combination, and they're not supposed to use it, but they're going to. And basically the plot is that Starscream is going to stake it from them and use it and become Super Starscream in the same way the trans tech character became Super Starscream. Uh, almost exactly the way they did that in trans tech. So, so the, yeah, this series was uh, very much like uh, the the, uh, the fan film, uh, the trans tech, the uh, Metal Shot Doomsday from 2002, 2012, 2012, and then, and then, uh, Dark Catharsis and Dark After are fan films. Very similar. Also a very similar theme to Corrosion of War. Uh, one of the fan films from the, the other thing. And also, uh, yeah, so a lot of the fans thought of, and it's similar to Transitions, similar to a number of other fan stories that were just stories back then, and not fan films. But yeah, it's a very similar ending to the other one. Uh, this one also, ha this one has yeah, so when we did Space... That's why I keep mentioning Space Bridge, because our fan film did some things that were like combined this one. Matter of words. Uh, uh, but we had to not do exactly that. So instead of having Super Starscream show up and, and get beat up by Metroplex, we had to have, uh, well, him fight... First fight Devastator in one episode, and then fight Fortress Maximus, who had been possessed by the, by the evil darkness character. It's interesting, the Enigma thing looks like a cross between the Matrix and the Shaping weapon from Shadow of Children. It's probably not a coincidence. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is. Oh, they, the, uh, the Great Minds Think Alike. Their version, our version. Separated by two years there, 2016-2018. But, yeah. <laughs> right in the middle is theirs. Uh, but, yeah. That um, was 2019. Oh, late 2019. So, yeah, a lot of our stuff seems to be similar to the Hasbro stuff. And, uh, yeah, we haven't been called on it either. It's funny that, like, well, we do say it's, uh, the figures are copyrighted by Hasbro and, and, uh, and G.I. Joe's and Transformers. Uh, Robotech, if they use them, the names are copyrighted by Harmony Gold. This guy also mentions the copyrights, although he doesn't technically need to because... Really, nobody's going to mistake his site for official Hasbro site. He doesn't have to do that. Um, and his Sith library sounds like Star Wars site. I guess that's what it was originally. There's a number of other things on here. Varying fan films and stuff. Um, yeah, it came up in the forum feed because the uh, the bots on the YouTube work overtime to pull up different stuff you might be interested in. Just what they're getting trouble in trouble with for that copper thing. Copper thing. Cause it, but it's their doing. They're pulling up their own bots and their own feet. So it's like, it's YouTube doing that. It's not the, it's not the, us creators, content creators. It's YouTube. 
so why can't YouTube turn their own bots off? But once in a while you find an interesting jam like Transformers thing. Uh, they shouldn't get mad at the content creators for the stuff they're putting up. True, there are some people gaming the system, but they should be able to turn them off. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this guy's not gaming the system. He has... Um, it, it's uh, the Combiner Wars. He just edited it as a, as a his version. Um, Kind of cool. Uh, it's similar to Transformers Prime, animation-wise, but it's flash animation. It's a little different. Uh, it's reminiscent of the Transformers Bumblebee spin-offs and the uh, and the and Cyberverse that just came out last year. Uh, I haven't seen very much of that. Um, <laughs> the toys look cheaper. Uh, but yeah, now there's Siege. Transformers Siege is the latest one. So it's a sequel to the other two. They've jumped ahead of the Calc Cat Party. It takes us a, a long time to put one together, but then when we do put it together, it takes a week and a half. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, and the next one is in production. So, yeah. yeah we're doing another one, but it's not going to look like this. A little, little bit visually like a, kind of a goofy version of Dark Transformers universe or whatever. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Oh, but I uh, have yes. I guess the only drawbacks to it were they were using the footage from the other show that kind of didn't work. But they had some interesting uh, view, uh, music, uh, Muzak versions of the Transformers song, The Touch, and the Transformers theme the movie. Okay, yeah, so, the Giant Starscream. Yeah, so that's it. That's my book. Weird rambling review.